はい<笑> So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about、uh, spiritual teachers and why they get such a hard time and why the world will turn against them This is because they are judged obviously for their actions,、um, because generally speaking, their actions are often seen as being outside the norm, and、um, they are pushing and testing the boundaries and paradigms of what has gone before them. And so there are always going to be. Some fallout, some challenges from the status quo. And if we look in human history, we can see this has always happened, especially to the pioneers,、um, you know, in religion and science, especially.、Um, so people that were thinking outside the box or want to do something different or Um, invent something that would you know, change the world in some way, have always been ridiculed or ostracized to some attempt, and in some cases crucified, of course. And today, in this day and age, we might not do the,、uh, you know, it might not look the same but,、um, because the environment has changed, but it's kind of still going on where、um, people are being. You know, the laws being used to lock people away for being outspoken or to speak their truth.、Um, protesters, whatever,、um, people that are standing up for what they believe in and are, you know, put away. Or sometimes even,、um, you know, eliminated as well. So It's just that you know, anything that threatens the status quo or the,、um, you know, the political kind of influences and the control that is in place over the masses in general,、um, when someone is stepping up against that and is especially on a crusade to help empower. Or enlighten people so that they r e c o g n i z e their own power. And, you know, this is why spiritual teachers can, can get a lot of hard time because,、um, from the mind or the mindset that wants to keep things the same, or what happens is the ego gets very threatened by the prospect of change. And also doesn't like to see the power and influence of particular individuals. So, even when there is a very powerful individual who has the capacity to、um, initiate great change to the human race、um, on an individual basis and beyond that,、um, extending to the collective, then they will react or respond by.、Um, Doing whatever they can, whatever is within their means to basically、um, you know,、um, bring down、um, or humiliate the teacher or speaker in question. And today's biggest spread of、um, propaganda and,、uh, you know, in a way, something that has quite The power to、um, have big influence in today's society would be the media and the news coverage, and you know, on the internet as well, you know, with things going, going viral.、Um, so, information can spread very, very quickly and very、um, uh, prolific, prolifically. So, basically. Um, anything that is negative or you know, can be written about and promoted and posted and shared, you know, like lightning speed across the land, across the global internet. 
and so it's just uh you know again you know to be aware of this kind of um misuse of technology as well and uh and it can it will be used you know when when an opportunistic ego um sees the opportunity to you know bring down or they can i mean they can't they can't actually bring down anyone but their attempt to uh portray someone negatively um you know they can use these means and they will pick on uh, a spiritual teacher in the way that um they know the mass programming so they can portray the spiritual teacher and sort of twist elements of the teaching to be seen in a particular light um, that will support the old paradigm ways of seeing things so basically the old ego responses and judgments um, according to the programmed way that the masses in general have been brought up to believe is the right way to do things. So when a spiritual teacher comes along who is being authentic and wild and free in their own right, um, that is uh, immediately seen as a threat. And so the ego will respond to, um, <clears throat> to hone in on those aspects to try and portray them as being manipulative of the masses or negative in some way when actually they're doing quite the opposite they're freeing up the mindset they're freeing up people's attachments to the old beliefs and the old ways the old limited ways of being so a spiritual teacher's job is to come and basically upgrade or up level a civilization and they will do this by forcing the collective um through obviously reaching to individuals initially um, to think outside the box and to basically realize that they are expanded unlimited beings and that they have the choice to be this so that is a spiritual teacher's job they will um, show you where your limitations are where your old ways of thinking are and where the collectives programming is as well um, and so to the ego this new fresh free individual can seem wild can seem untamed and it's very threatening to an ego that wants to hold on to a particular uh, paradigm or mindset or a limited contractive way of looking at things it's almost like it knows things to have been a, a particular way all its life and so when something comes along that wants to say you know you don't have to live like that that's not really how you know life can be you don't have to be trapped in a nine to five you don't have to have you know relationships in this way or you don't have to um, be enslaved to a um, nine to five sort of mentality in order to be supported financially so they come along to um, challenge our preset existing values and programming um, so therefore they can be upsetting, they can upset the ego that wants to keep things um, controlled or just in the old way. So that's all I wanted to say really on the matter is that yes, they can be more open or more vulnerable to attack from the ego's point of view. And I guess I'm just putting this out there to be supportive in a way or to um i don't know just bring some share some light and clarity or share kind of what i've been seeing going on 
um, to a specific spiritual teacher recently whom I admire very much for his ability to stay completely true to his mission, which is to, you know, wake up this civilization and to let them know that they are empowered beings and that they can make their own minds up about how they want to live with integrity, of course, and compassion and kindness, and that there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And um, that was it, really. So, yeah, it's just, you know, spiritual teachers kind of need our support, even if we don't really agree with all their teaching. But the fact that they are actually up there, you know, doing what they do, the fact that they're actually willing to put their neck out, they're willing to stand up and offer something new, offer a new perspective, offer a new way of living life on the planet that represents more freedom um, of being. It, I mean, I think that deserves a great respect and is something of high value as each one of us awakens to our own authenticity and ability to um, be more transparent and speak out for what we believe is, is true and what's in our hearts um, to express. So the spiritual teachers are, are leading the way, they're showing us, they're encouraging us to be confident, to, you know, make a difference in this world at this time to this specific collective um, as we're on the pinnacle of great change and shifting over from the old limited ways of living and seeing ourselves to becoming a more enlightened society. Um, so that's all I just wanted to share and um, I hope that you do support, you know, these teachers that are willing to, to stand up and, you know, stay strong for the collective and um, that you can give your support to them if you feel moved of course if you feel um, resonant that that resonates for you um, but I think that even if there are aspects of a teaching that might not completely align with your understanding or maybe just don't feel completely wholesome but you can appreciate even 80% of it you can appreciate, you know, the fact that they're doing what they're doing, I think is just an amazing support that we can give them, you know, because, <clears throat> you know, there's so much stuff being expressed in the world today and I think it's a great thing when there's some clarity, some truth and some positive energy coming through someone whose intention is to help, to inspire, to uplift. Anyone who has that intention, um, in my opinion, deserves the utmost respect. So that's all. Thank you for watching and bye for now.